Hello creative friends, this is Joy coming to you with another art journal page in this journal that I created for journaling and sketching and doing some creative uh, pages in. Um, and as I said in my last video, I decided that I wanted to use this for sketches, but I wanted to use it for more than just sketches. I wanted it to also be able to incorporate some, you know, color and instead of just having it as a sketchbook. And so I got the idea to incorporate, look at my stash and find several different pictures that I can incorporate into uh, a layout. So I found this zebra and then this uh, picture of the keyboard with the rose and the music notes and decided that I wanted to incorporate these into a page together. So I I'm doing a quick sketch here of the zebra just to get the basic layout um, and shape on my page. And um, I am not planning to draw out or try to replicate the music notes. So I looked in a book that, um, a hymnal that I had bought at a yard sale from the church up the street and found. Um, some music notes in there that I uh, figured I could incorporate into this art journal page. So once I get the basic uh, layout of the zebra on my page, I grab my watercolor paints and proceed to color in um, the zebra with my watercolor paints. And uh, this particular page turned out pretty well. I like the way it turned out. Um, which you'll see in the end um, that at one point I felt like that the white background on the zebra was just too white and so I tried to kind of you know make it to where it wasn't so white but um, I don't know I might have added a little bit too much uh, to it I would have in the end um, it ended up being a lot darker than I wanted it to be, but I was happy with it overall um, when I, by the time I got finished with it. And, you know, even though a zebra is basically black and white, the white isn't really that white. <laughs> um, so I kind of struggle with that part of it a little bit. And I'm learning to, you know, use watercolors and to get the you know effect and coloring and shading that I want and these particular watercolors are really highly pigmented and they're really strong so sometimes when I go to use them I end up you know with a much stronger color than what I'm looking for in it or intending but then it seems like all the other colors, when I'm trying to get a strong color, it doesn't come out quite strong enough. Like, for example, the black here, I end up having to go over it um, more than once to darken up the lines uh, because it wasn't as dark as I wanted it to be. But overall, I do like this watercolor set. There are definitely uh, some beautiful colors and I've been having a lot of fun using them. And so I am pretty happy with the, the set. And here I'm going back over some of those lines. And then continuing to fill in the rest of the zebra. And I guess I could have like uh, left the white like it showing here. But again... Um, and it might have, I don't know, made a difference if I put a background behind the zero, but I didn't. I left the back of the page white. So here I'm trying to do some shading. But I know I noticed that as I'm trying to do a little bit of shading on the zebra, it's of course reactivating the black and the black lines, which then I have to go back over to make those even darker. But in the end it all works out. Like I said, I'm pretty happy with the way the, the page turned out. And I thought it turned out, you know, pretty cool. 
and I'm looking, you know, as I'm doing this, I'm kind of looking at the picture, but then not, I guess. I'm trying to, you know, I don't match it exactly, but I do try to kind of look at it, and as I'm doing some of this, um, but then I'm, you know, of course, adding to, um, adding in some things, you know, to kind of add my own creative flair on the whole, you know, zebra here. And you see, you can see too in the picture there, you know, there are shadows and stuff, so I do come back and try to do all that, but then again, it reactivates the black, which then causes me to have to go back over the black. But, again, I was happy with it in the end. But this uh, week has actually been a pretty busy week for me. Um, all week here, I've been getting home fairly late from work. There's been a lot going on, a big meeting at work, and so uh, just about every night has been pretty late. So I really... This is uh, times like this I look forward to the weekends to be able to just sit and be creative and not have to worry about all the stuff, you know, with work. And as a matter of fact, because of so much going on this week, I was, it was hard pressed to get much sleep, you know, because my mind just wouldn't, uh, wouldn't quite shut down enough to get to sleep. So, um, you know, I'm trying to get some sleep this weekend, but um, I'm still not, you know, sleeping that well. So, oh well, what do you do? You just kind of do what, do the best you can. So you can see here, um, adding in all of that shadowing and stuff, I kind of removed a lot of the white, but, you know, was like, well, it's, you know, I like it. It's fine. And, you know, it's not exactly white, white anyway. And I thought about going back in and adding in some white back into it, but I decided I didn't flight mess with it. It's good. So I'm drawing here a quick sketch of the rose and the piano on the bottom of my page. And I tripped a little, you can see on the bottom there, there's a little black drip of, you know, drip of black paint, but, you know, oh well, it's like, what are you going to do? So, um, I tried to paint these piano keys kind of similar to, like, the picture, but they didn't quite, I mean, I, they didn't quite come out like the picture. But again, I was fine with the way they turned out. So I've taped down the, or glued down the music notes. And then I'm just using the black paint to go and um, white paint the uh, outline of the piano and then the black keys on the piano and get that incorporated into my drawing. And plus I added some shadowing and stuff underneath the rows and and uh, in the edge of the piano. So again, you know, that black paint is pretty darn strong, so I try to do the best I can with it, but it, it is, it can be pretty strong, and um, it's hard to get it to, uh, you know, sometimes it's, 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 I guess it's because I get it too watered down and it sucks into the paper. It's too light, and other times it's just, too, you know, too dark. So I just end up painting over the keys and just blackening them in because I couldn't quite get the look I wanted to. I guess I could come back over them with um, some white acrylic paint or something. Um, but to add some highlights to them, but I don't think I do. So here I'm just uh, painting in with the watercolor paints, the rose, 
as well. And I believe uh, once I get all the color, at least, yeah, the, the color in here, I end up using uh, the Bombay ink again. I used Bombay ink on my last page, and I believe that's what I brought in on this one as well to uh, add some finer details into my picture. And I'm just trying to get the shadowing in the rows here. So after I dry it, clean up and dry this a little bit, um, I decided to get the Bombay ink out because that seemed to work pretty well for me um, on the last page and use that just to add a little bit more detail into the page. So that's pretty much the page for today. If you like this, you can hit the like button or you can hit the subscribe button to see more. Or you can leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. I appreciate you guys stopping by and watching my videos. And I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.